Welcome back, fellow armchair generals, and we're going to start off with an experiment. Yes, and of course we're playing um, Hearts of Iron 3 with Black Ice 9.11 in Japan. Now, a um, bit of talk over, um, or, yeah, talk, whatever you want to say, over not deploying these units. Now, um, the poster said that these still eat supplies even though they're, though they're here. Um, and, um, which I'm not sure about. I presumed they didn't. So that's purely an experiment, um, by me. Um, the other one was, um, over, he didn't think, again, he's not sure, but I've definitely seen the behavior before, is, um, oh, well, we don't need any consumer goods right now. So this, because it's modified, well, let's let this roll forward. Um, so this experiment may not work. Um, let's see, um, current needs. Okay, well, um, we have through being in the Axis, mixed industry, Toshiba funded, um, sending the goon squads, entertainment shows, um, descent for every day. Okay, so we don't currently need, um, any consumer goods. Wow. Okay. Um, supplies. We currently, well, let's, I want a data trip forward. Okay, just make sure the full day. Okay, we need 5431. So let's deploy some units. We can't, and I know I've seen it, um, I'm not used to having zero consumer needs in peacetime, which obviously we needed them recently, but um, uh, various modifiers change these, including um, totalitarian system propaganda press. Hmm, those are some changes. And I also noticed new government, which we're going to um, check out and see what that does. There was no description for it. So we're going to deploy. Huh, remember, 5431, right? Okay. 5431. So we're going to deploy some police divisions. And we're going to deploy some of these specialist divisions. Okay, these guys, we're just going to, yeah. You don't get some super leaders for your little police unit. You don't really need any. Um, okay, mountain division skill. Um, well, since he has a mountaineer's trait, we'll give him that. Uh, commando maybe, but let's see if we have anybody here with parachute skills. I am so unused to playing as Japan or anything but Germany really, but to sort of know who what we're likely to find. Encouraged by the few naval landing. Seeing, of course, I would prefer to use real people. These are just um, the Japanese name or Japanese style name. I don't even know for sure how. And just thrown in there and given some traits sort of at random. Uh, paratrooper, there we are, go. Um, Airborne, yeah, we'll do that. Even though that's not terribly good of a general. This is just a brigade here. Lighter formation. And part of that just comes down to... Um, why did I create it? Well, 
Oh, there we go. He may actually be better for the other unit. Um, don't have infinite resources and, um, oh, well, there's a good, he also good marine landing. Um, I don't know. Uh, don't have infinite resources. And still just hitting, um, uh, 31 um either a very weakly defended um air base somewhere else or location or simply additive you know a different we would give them fuel sure um, no no too small so okay um well, still just fifty four thirty one. I'd like to say this, I wasn't sure of. I just presumed they didn't eat supplies. Now units moving. This is sort of why I haven't um, changed anything. Um, eat more supplies. Okay, so no. Doesn't affect supplies, but I do know it affects consumer goods. Now here we are modified enough that we don't need any consumer goods, so we're just um, reducing that down. But I do know it. Um, I did see it a little bit earlier when after the war ended with China, with Japan, when we did need consumer goods, and I've definitely seen it with Germany, and it just sort of. For each infantry division, it's just a teeny little bit more consumer goods, but also for more air, more for each naval unit, just a teeny little bit more consumer goods. Um, and so it's it's hardly appreciable just because I normally keep it at such a, um, you know, micromanaging it and often keeping it right on, you know, keeping it just as what's needed or within one or two um, fractions of a one um that i notice that and i wish i could have demonstrated that here but i did not know one way or another about eating supplies in here or not so these are eating supplies but it's deployed goods i've definitely seen and done that i'm um, deployed units needing more consumer goods so um keep that in mind what is so, but what is bad about having them here is, um, oh, and yeah, so it's just an infantry division or something is, is just is minuscule amount. That's sort of why I did some of these, just to see if it ticked up at all. Um, but when you deploy something like all of those, that's a lot. Now, what this, what these guys will do here is, and we can click here, is scroll down to see if there's any, see, yeah. Here, since when we started production, we've added machine gun battalions, so that will slowly upgrade there. And here we can see artillery brigades. And I do, it's sort of now, around now is when I was planning on deploying most of these units is to give them the roughly year to go through upgrading processes, including for their ships. Okay, interception tactics have advanced. Um, that would be under air, I believe, and it's over here. Okay, well, we're getting close to 41, but let's see. Um, we're doing fighter pilot training, but we are pushing that, and we want to push that. Let's do ground attack, ground crew training. Okay, and the other thing is, is um, I want to see, I want to do this fairly early on. Let's see what this new government. Okay. Um, okay, let's. Um, I want to let this go a day ahead. 
No, we really don't want to convoy all the way from Sweden. Okay, new day ahead. I wanted to see if that required more consumer goods. No, didn't, but it has, of course, eaten into our overall ICs. Okay, um, well, let's do this first. Um, military entrepreneur. Uh, we want to do that. Doesn't have the efficiency hit. Um, uh, yeah. We don't need a Prince of Terror, really. Um, silent Lawyer, but we're keeping the, the pseudo-fascist party leadership. Um, I think we got rid of him before, didn't we? Um, maybe not. I don't like that leadership modifier hit. Ah. Yeah, we're going to go. See, I think industrial specialist. Is there a fascist one of those? I don't know, is this going to re-trigger new government thing? It might. Um, Chief of Staff, okay, School Defense, School Defense, Fire Support. <coughs> okay. So, um, no, not yet. Okay, so that's just trying to throw in a historical government I presume okay um small navigation radar um, which allows ASW carrier technology IFF at night equipment in avionics and carriers so um let's stop that we could do that and that but way too far in advance let's look over here at carriers um, ASW, okay, that's a little too far in advance, too. The well, main thing it does is um, allows us to build an escort carrier, which, like I've said before, is not a carrier that carries airplanes in this game. It does in real life, of course. But it's just a really good sub-hunter, convoy escorter type um, unit. Um, well, we'll deal with figuring out what next, cause, but it won't be that Special Forces branch. Um, okay, that one's updated, and I think we will be getting more leadership now that we've changed back some of the... Okay, so um, medium armored designs have advanced. And yes, that is ended. Um, and extra wide tracks, we can do that now. And yes, these guys here, which will um, generally increase things. The one decrease there is money. No, thank you, Italy. We know you're fighting in North Africa and all that, but... Okay, um... Here's the thing. Um, to the best of my understanding, and I could be wrong about this, but to the very best of my understanding is, um... I don't know, for briefly for a while, I know there's an event that gives a bunch of territory to Germany, and then um, another decision can come along to give a corridor to Germany that I think would also throw in a um, port here, um, a court here. 
So what? So what's going wrong now? Since that didn't happen, and that is purely a game mechanics. Is supply does not trace through. This is again to the best of my understanding um, across, shall we say, um, allied um, territories. So if I stick a bunch of German units in here. You will note um, uh, supplies needed here. Okay. Um, no, maybe I think I need to come up here to see it. Okay, up here. Um, traded away. Those are sold. Convoyed out. Those go to um, the islands. Um, used is used. Return to the stockpile is coming back. Maybe it's traded away, or I think I think that's it because I think if it's counted as that as part of that or maybe I don't and see um, and we were getting supplies out here so I'm not absolutely sure about this but um, about supplies moving across um, friendly territory to other territories if I have units like here this will be charged um, from my bill so if Germany sends a bunch of armored units into Italy um, Italy will get the needed supplies sent to it again this is my understanding I could be wrong in some of the details but I well I, I don't think I am so now so there are events down here that will drop supplies into Athens to supply the Germans, but these guys aren't necessarily getting supplies. I really don't think so. Now, what I do also know, not think, but know, um, I cannot run um, these. You can't send supplies out of um, allied ports. You know, Germany can't send supplies to here come out of Italian ports to here or to Italy that is a problem so um, yeah it's a problem so I'm not exactly sure how it all works but I know I can't um, ship supplies out so there is an event to give supplies periodically to um, uh, Crete here so that if Germany were to say have a bunch of air units in here periodically they will drop supplies in via event to supply it and that's specifically why the event is there ah well now we need consumer goods but we'll see if that stays after we've um, a day goes by I know we need to do that but um, okay new day um, yes. Okay, well, we can do our experiment again. Okay, light infantry branch upgrade. Let's go through, and that should be grayed out. Okay, so 42, 41 defensive positions. Let's come over here. Um, yeah, we're getting close, but I just want to see if we can more efficient, and not just to do things, but things that we are likely want to do now. Um, well, let's check here. Okay, good. All grayed out. It does sort of look like we are moving ahead with these, but um, yeah, that's looking good. Let's do that. Let's come up here and look at because improving our tactical abilities is a good thing but is a thing that we don't need today because we are not attacking or defending or doing any combat today um, but we are producing stuff today and that type of thing so I'd rather do that now okay so it looks like we're we're all good here um, So 
so I am not against doing advanced tank optics. Well, we may get there. Just, um, I think we have sooner rather than later. Okay, 42s, 41, 43. Torpedo loading system. Okay, we'll do that. So down here on strategic, let's see, assault concentration, no, wait a minute, we are, because I knew we had several, no, that's enough, okay, yeah, okay, so currently we need 1504, so let's try this again, now that we need an actual number. Okay, we'll drop in those three divisions. Um, we'll put them here because we have the HQs over here. We'll drop those in and um, let's, because like I did say, this is about the time I was, or which is almost the beginning of 41, but that was sort of my... my thought to start upgrading we'll see about combining some of these um, well, let's the Zui Kaku okay good big three carrier group Okay, the Taiho, that was, I think, the last major one built. That will be a two-carrier group. Okay, I'll just look now. 1504. Let's wait a day for it to recalculate supply needs. And I may be wrong about this, but I've definitely seen increases. So this is why we're experimenting. Okay, let's see. No, nope, still 1504, so maybe I'm wrong. I can be wrong. I definitely can be wrong. Okay, well, guess so. Um, money, metal, uh... Okay, Germany. Not from Belgium. Okay. Um, well, let's look at... We can do the totalitarian... Um, no, here. Um, totalitarian system, civil laws. Limited restrictions. Okay. Um, ICs would go down. Consumer goods during wartime would be less, but we're not during wartime. Counterintelligence. Well, I really don't really care too much. Not that many people are trying to steal stuff from us. Um... Ruling party support, yeah. I see efficiency in production would go down considerably. Down a 5% swing, which I don't like. Um, partisan efficiency would go up. I don't see a good, um, a good bonus right now to this. I just don't. I'm looking counterintelligence. Yeah, that would would be a lot better. 35% swing. 
Ruling party support. Well, hmm. I don't know. Okay, the other one, um, Propaganda Press, and that is under which um, press loss. Ah, that would make sense. Okay, we currently have a free press. Um, we could do Propaganda Press. So, National Revolt Risk would go down. That would be great. Um, National Manpower Modifier up. That would be great. Uh, ICs up. Looking to make sure that it isn't somewhere else. That would be great. Tendency to drift due to their internal factors. Um, wouldn't drift so much. Okay, that would be good. Um, counter espionage would be a 20 point swing to the benefit. Um, organization regain rate, which is this would be a 12% bonus. Um, national unity changes plus. Well, minus 10%, but at 10% to the positive. Um, we won't have that big consumer goods. Uh, research efficiency would go down. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this. I like the IC bonus. Um, even though we won't research things as well. Okay, active sonar. We, our ships get and submarines also will get to send out pings. Okay, and um, just for submarines and for ships we will start with that. And we have propaganda press, yes. We may shift to a totalitarian system during wartime if we, if it would help us. Okay, Air Force HQs have advanced. And German blueprint stolen. Well, very good. Your Imperial Highness, our spies have stolen plans that let us improve our abilities and light bomber prototypes to level 5, given the following benefits. Okay, well, we were researching that, I think, actively right now. Um, so we just jumped up a little bit. So that was a minor bonus, because however much we had already completed. Okay, well, that's good, but which now allows us to start researching here, which is um, a good thing. Uh, yeah, that will use up all of our current leadership. Ground crew, I think we're going to let that continue. Yeah, we're doing the 41. Just get our fighters up to be really top-notch and how are we doing out here in Europe okay it looks like Germany has moved everything but garrison forces and they're leaving this guy here for some reason okay don't know why you're garrisoning that with that unit I could go on another long rant okay sonar detection equipment advance very good I believe that'll be under submarines and Oh, here. Okay, and so that's grayed out. Fine. Good. Um, well, I guess we can start on submarine engines. And four-engine bomber crew layout advances. Very good. Um, uh, Prototype, um, armament prototype, at least one. Okay, um, okay, so let's, yeah, let's switch that. Stop that. Um, again, I'm doing this primarily um, to uh, upgrade the 
flying boats and naval bombers as opposed to trying to do heavy bombers. See, I'm thinking now, if I was playing America, I probably would do heavy bombers. Because if I built a lot of heavy bombers, I could station a bunch in Britain and bomb Germany. And as I took islands, I could then bomb Japan. I'm always playing as Germany. I rarely, if you, as you've noticed, use heavy bombers. I use a little bit to try to bring national unity down for... Um, the Soviets and I do it very poorly just because I don't pay attention closely enough because I want to rapidly push into the Soviet Union and capture the ICs instead of damaging them and having to rebuild them and similarly once we go to war with France I want to rapidly capture um, France's ICs and as opposed to damaging them now I could I could go after the ICs of Britain, but because of the way with um, when their finest hour came out, Britain gets um, some really good, um, maybe overpowered a bit, um, bonuses for air combat over Britain. So if you can lure, and this is again, I'm not sure on all the details of just how it works, but if you can lure their fighters over Germany and battle them, you'll do okay. I don't know exactly your win-loss exchange rate. Von Welch, okay, he's in charge of a division. Um, exchange rates, but if you're fighting them over Britain, you're going to really have bad exchange rates. So if you've built a really big German Luftwaffe, you can win, but you need that. And exchange rates aren't going to be good. So that's sort of why I don't tend to use them. But I guess they're really building up here. They gonna go early? I wonder if they're gonna go early. I know we're getting to 41, and that's where Germany is looking is towards the Soviet Union. Maybe not the worst place for a mountain division, but still. Um, okay, that'll be interesting. We'll see how this goes. Obviously, I go after making sure I nail down Egypt at least before going after the Soviet Union, but yeah, okay, um, port strike tactics. Um, it is helping CAG duty efficiency, not just for port strikes, but just generally, so we will do, we'll continue that. Um, study for level four Air Force. HQ, I think I wanted that. Maybe I didn't need, maybe it was naval I was looking for. Okay, Imperial Air Force HQs, yes, okay. Okay, it looks like we got these. So, um. Oh, these guys. Um. Send all these over to here, and then let's pick a decent general out for him. Um, just a level three guy. Okay, don't have him as an occupying general. There we go, and yeah, now he deserves higher command. Um, now let's see if we can do a level three. Mm, there we go. Oh, naval. Let's save him for some naval units. Uh, order of the golden kite. Okay. Now let's do thirty-three. There we go, and yeah, not him. Yeah, I know he's a good general AI, but um, we're saving him for a higher command or a more prestigious division if we're going to give him to a divisional commander.
Uh oh. Okay, yeah. Um. And we did drop. Oh, we also um, a bunch of other stuff I haven't been paying attention to. We have no transports there. Okay, that's useful. Not really. You did get that. Okay. Um, and that's because I am still on my tour of islands to spread the love of HQs. Okay, no, not you. Um, here we are. Okay. Grab this guy and this one. So we are adding an HQ to this, which will give that. Um, now I've been advised that I need more forces here, and I very well may need more forces um, to garrison these islands a little better. Uh, I don't think I'm going to, for the garrison detachments without any support units, I'm not going to put an HQ because it don't, um, okay, this here, um, we may have sent more HQs out here than we need. Um, I'd rather give them to those militia units sitting out next to the Soviets than to a, um, okay, now yeah, see we need up here, so, um, you guys get on board these ships, and we need just one HQ there, so rebase to there, we'll send you home somewhere else, and up here, okay, they could use an HQ, and so could they, okay, they're not as, they don't have heavy artillery, oh, oh, these guys definitely need an HQ, Maybe we didn't overly do that too much. Okay, come up to rebase. Yeah, that's sort of the idea. Let's get these units set up as fair. Now, I'm a little bit torn um, on... I can build... I'm built, I have a bunch more tropical island garrisons, and I very likely can send them out now. Um, but I built them for, you know, sticking here, sticking here, you know, um, sticking maybe here or here or wherever, um, you know, or all over here, you know. That's what I built them for. And I probably need to build more. Got the time to build more, maybe. But we don't... And the, I always... In this type time period, I always sort of this... Um, uh, it's not a Venn diagram, which are two circles, but two um, lines on a chart, you know, going up and down. You got um, how quickly you want to get going into war, you know, because I do want to... Not just for... Um, entertainment purposes of showing you, but also want to fight the war. But I also, you know, so that going in one direction, arrows, lines, whatever, going in one direction. And the other direction is how ready am I for it? You know, I'm building, I looked around and saw that I don't have that many submarines out there. And not that submarines are going to win the war for me, so you just go, well, no need to bother. Well, I think, but we're going to see, maybe very wrong, I think I can put a bunch of submarines out and while all these islands are garrisoned, chew up lots of um, convoys. Them, you know, um, so that they would be useful in that way. And so um, make the U.S. spend money on more convoys and convoy escorts. Um, we will see whether they are useful in that, you know, because maybe they'll just come in and, and get stomped and very efficiently. That may happen. But I'm not used to that happening as Germany. If I can get, as you've watched, get the, um, the convoys out far enough away from Britain, um, you know, basing them out of either France or out of um, Axis neutrals, you know, places that will allow us to operate out of. Um, and really do really good work there. So I'm hoping to do a similar thing in the Pacific. Now, I may not be able to. We will find out. 
So, and we don't have endless amount of times, but we also need um, to do more. And I was advised to come in here um, with 10 divisions and, you know, maybe go for Sunrise Beach, which isn't, uh, well, um, fortified, but we can supply through, obviously. Um, come in there within the first two or three months of the war. Now, that wasn't what I was planning on doing, because I was planning on trying to grabbing up all of, not Australia, but um, all of the Philippines and um, Indonesia type. And, of course, since, which will have a minor influence out here, but not the major, major influence. The major influence is um, shipping. You know, how much we can... Um, do how many invasions can we do and get things shipped where here is obviously walking marching whatever over the mountains and we are shifting more and more of our army we need to do some more of these guys um so this isn't i mean in a way it is but but not primarily taking away forces from a hawaiian invasion um but been advised to do so and I think that's good advice and I think we will need to see about grabbing up a couple of midway and wake um, early on and so I could have well and if we and we also want to take out here because if we can take this out early on too that was another one they lose basing ability see that, that that's it's critical in Hearts of Iron 3 and 4, um, and it's part of the reason why I think I got munched so badly in um, when I was playing this in Hearts of Iron 4. Partially some of the settings that I had some of the unit, uh, the fleets on, um, and so they weren't engaging well. And so I wasn't able to gain, because you don't have to gain naval superiority in a region to do an invasion here. Now, of course... Um, that is good and bad, um, as to simulate, um, history. It is good in that invasions did happen without naval superiority, um, where it's sort of bad is, will the AI, or if you're a, um, human, you can direct it in, will you effectively direct your navy in response to an invasion to destroy it so meaning that if i have um a big fleet sitting over here you know carriers whatnot and a fleet comes in here will the ai or will i rapidly send my fleet to go over and sink that along with air power um now if i don't do that then they get in here, even though I may have a huge doom stack sitting here, and they invade fast enough. Now, had I been able to take out the Philippines and some of these islands, uh, with um, hearts, especially these two as well, hearts of iron four, had I been able to do that, I start limiting the distance the Americans can operate from and invade. And that's sort of the key here, because if I can take these guys out and also take out all of the Hawaiian part, ports, then the U.S. is sort of stuck from invading from here or sending off forces down to New Zealand and Australia and whatnot, which can still, you know, operate. But it means I don't have to worry about things up here because it gets too far to effectively operate in these other areas so I create this sort of C as my own and that was again sort of the problem with my last playthrough because I can't outbuild the US now maybe I can outsmart the AI's building programs or outsmart the AI's deployment of building of you know their things but what I think I can do which may be the outsmart is um, concentrate my forces at um, one point of attack. Now, they did one of the posters, and I, I, right now I, I can't even remember who it was, um, you know, build my own doom stack to deal with their doom stack. I am going to build a few sort of bigger um, fleets out there, but I'm going to try to stay away from the doom stack, but... 
be prepared to vector in three or four of the fleets against a doom stack if needed to uh, if if it shows up unlike Germany where I avoid 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 because I'm never going to be able to outbuild the US in carriers and battleships and whatnot not that I can here with Japan but um, you have to build so much land forces and I'm trying to avoid overdoing that to be able to do this so if I can get it in reasonable but um, bite-sized chunks and destroy it and that's partially what I'm doing here if, is also continuing to build naval air of various types um, to really start pushing in okay um, commander decision making um, Forty-one, but I think I would rather move to these, and it's maybe just my play as Germany like to do the land forces, armored fighting vehicles, AA as a higher priority. Um, air defense, or air attack. Um, Well, I do like to get these down. Okay, I think we're going to end the episode here. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And, of course, I love hearing from you. So please post questions, comments, suggestions, uh, corrections. See you next time for more. You got it. Hearts of Iron.